there. But in the return game, where he, as Blake just mentioned, he was honorable mention last week for his outstanding. Remember that punt return, a kickoff return. He was a major part of Sanford's victory last week. And going to use the quarterback. They're different backs. It's really an impressive operation that they run of option football. Don't forget Wofford, although Wofford's a little bit different of their option. Good gang tackle there by and Sanford. And that's what you're to do. This is early. It is a big gamble for Coach Thompson this far back in your own territory. Rainy the quarterback. Harris the B-back. It's Harris. And this is going to be close. It looks like he's short. First instinct say short. And the gamble doesn't pay off for Coach Thompson. Goes for it deep in his own territory. Now Sanford will take over deep in Citadel territory. About the 35. First play offensively is a rush by Staten. He goes forward. And off number 20, Stanton, Stanton rather goes forward and picks up four. Tackle by number nine. And off to number 20, Stanton, Stanton rather goes forward and picks up four. Tackle by number nine. Eubanks. Chris Oladokun, the quarterback for Sanford, over 65% of his pass has already gone over 1,000 yards on the season. Shelling, enough for a first down. Tough week last week for Chris Shelling, but this week picks up a reception. Tuned in. The Citadel went for it on fourth and short, came up short. Sanford took over at the Citadel 35, got a first down. Stanton heads near side, cuts back towards the middle and gets down to about the 11. Picks up seven. Tackle by 92, Brawley. Tackle by 92, Brawley. And you see Stanton, he's a guy we talked about in the open, the big game, Ola Doken as well, leading the offense for Samford. Ola Doken calls his own number, heads towards the end zone. He's in for six. In for six, Ola Doken. And that's the different element that Ola Doken has brought to this Samford offense since taking over in week two. It's the ability to run the football. He can make things happen. Tackle by 92, Brawley. And you see Stanton, he's a guy Brings we talked about in the open, the big game, Ola Doken as well, leading the offense for Samford. Ola Doken calls his own number, heads towards the end zone. He's in for six. In for six, Ola Doken. And that's the different element that Ola Doken has brought to this Samford offense since taking over in week two. It's the ability to run the football. He can make things happen. Tackle by 92, Brawley. And you see Stanton, he's a guy Brings we talked about in the open, the big game, Ola Doken as well, leading the offense for Samford. Ola Doken calls his own number, heads towards the end zone. He's in for six. In for six, Ola Doken. And that's the different element that Ola Doken has brought to this Samford offense since taking over in week two. It's the ability to run the football. He can make things happen. Tackle by 92, Brawley. And you see Stanton, he's a guy Brings we talked about in the open, the big game, Ola Doken as well, leading the offense for Samford. Ola Doken calls his own number, heads towards the end zone. He's in for six. In for six, Ola Doken. And that's the different element that Ola Doken has brought to this Sanford offense since taking over in week two. It's the ability to run the football. He can make things happen. Tackle by 92, Brawley. And you see Stanton, he's a guy Brings we talked about in the open, the big game, Ola Doken as well, leading the offense for Sanford. Ola Doken calls his own number, heads towards the end zone. He's in for six. In for six, Ola Doken. And that's the different element that Ola Doken has brought to this Sanford offense since taking over in week two. It's the ability to run the football. He can make things happen in the open, the big game, Ola Doken as well, leading the offense for Sanford. Ola Doken calls his own number, heads towards the end zone. He's in for six. In for six, Ola Doken. And that's the different element that Ola Doken has brought to this Sanford offense since taking over in week two. It's the ability to run the football. He can make things happen. Fresh legs in there. Man in motion. Here's the option, the pitch. 
and gobbled up. That'll be a loss of about three or four more. Sanford's defense very active, and then a late flag comes out. Yeah, big stop. Excellent catch to keep this drive alive on a fourth down play. And not only an excellent catch, but a huge play at this point in the ball game. Nathan East was on the coverage, one of the linebackers. Tackled for a loss, a sack. What a defensive play made that time. What the Citadel wants. They want to beat you up physically and mentally. The option keeper and Rini got hit. A couple of players got to him and the finishing tackle made by Treshawn Floyd. It's on this drive. Three down lineman again for Sanford. Tackle. And it does not look like that's enough for a first down. Once again, it went back to Enwanze. Rainey's checks are a little bit off in Sanford's odd man front with a five man bear instead of their typical four three or four two five look, really throwing them off. So their offensive line in a deep meeting right now trying to get things corrected. They went eight minutes to the Citadel and came up completely empty, and that's with converting a couple of third down plays. But right. And the Citadel controlled the football during that first quarter. They ran 23 plays compared to nine for Samford. So Citadel did a great job of controlling the football, which is exactly what they wanted to do coming into this game. Samford had two running backs in. And then Oladokun will toss towards his man. He's got Adams. Robert Adams at the 45 with a circus catch. Part of the defense right there was Chris Beverly not able to break it up. So you're back where you where you were, second and nine. Remember, the first down play was going to be about a yard. Nothing doing there. And again, player on the defense, first man to get the lick. That is another really nice play by player, taking on blocks, doing a good job of containing. Keeping Rainey. And Rainey may be back to the line of scrimmage. There are about four or five Bulldogs on the defense. We'll give them two yards. It's in the backfield. Man in motion. It's a handoff. And here comes the Sanford defense. Three guys got a hand and then finally driven out of bounds was Remus Bulmer. And he will lose four. And he didn't make the tackle. We're tied at seven. A little frustrating for the Sanford offense. And for more on that, here's Blake Gardner. Thanks, guys. Yeah, when we talked to the Sanford staff during the week. They Fake to Harris. Rainey on the keeper. Some nice tackling that time by the Bulldogs. By Sanford. Floyd again, part of the tackle. One yard key tackles coming into this game, leading the Citadel Bulldogs. Oladokun forced to go back to the air. He's got a man open. That's Pollard. Pollard is taken down inside the Citadel territory. Torrance Pollard with the reception in the first down. The Citadel in zone. The first down. The Citadel in zone coverage in the secondary, and Pollard finds the perfect spot wide open behind the linebackers in front of the safeties. Nice job by Oladokun of floating it in there for the first down. Now Stanton on the rush. See where the spot is. Maybe he gets to the 35. Plus two on the carry. Just, Eubanks again on the tackle. Just not much room. Coordinator mixing up the coverage. Just two guys with their hands on the ground. Look at that defensive alignment. They're coming after Oladoke, and he gets it away quickly. And he goes far side to get a short game. Pass is complete to number three, A.J. Tony. A.J. Tony. Only one yard on yard. that catch. Zone Christy for Sanford. From the Citadel 19. Stanton in the backfield to the right of the quarterback. 
And Oladokun called his own number two. Cuts back inside and then stretches that long body to pick up five yards. Willie Eubanks on the tackle. So he's starting to rack up the tackles. This is about a 34-yard attempt. And that one is up and good. So remaining perfect on the year is Mitchell Finneran. Sanford will settle for three. They wanted seven. And we got a wonderful ball game here. Near and also a couple of big drops. It'll be Oladokun and Stanton in the backfield to get things started. And Oladokun will use his legs to get a first down and more. Right to the logo, he'll slide. That's a great gain on first down and a late hit, it looks like. We'll add a few more yards. There is a flag on the play. Faulkner, once you see the quarterback give himself up, you just let it go. And there's Thomas Faulkner came in. Not only did he hit the hit, but he also ultimately ends up being targeting, and he is ejected from this ballgame. He will also be ineligible for the first half next week. Swing pass to Stanton. I think he'll get enough for the first down. Yes, he will after the mark. Nice execution there. A little swing pass gets Stanton out in the flat. Nice touch it out to the outside. And Stanton with some nice moves of his own to pick up the first down. Sanford on the move, opening drive of the quarter. Maybe three for Stanton on that run. You're an ex-football player, ex-baseball player yourself. There's something that tells me instinctively. It's a technical by-the-rule call, but I, I feel like for targeting, you want it to be those kind of vicious hits. That's what you reserve those penalties for, the ones that could certainly hurt. I didn't feel like that was it. Leaving your feet caught, Tony. Certainly will get the first down. And let's say this is a completely different Sanford offense than what we saw in the first half. Bring up a third and four here. They can pick up a first down by getting to the two-yard line. I think this is four downs for Hatcher and his offense anyway. So Oladokun will try to rush in. He's got one rushing touchdown. Make it two. He'll skip into the end zone for a touchdown. Sanford. He came up a little hobbly there at the end of that run. But nice job by Ola Doken. I think you said it. That was four down territory, and you can tell by that play call. That was a play call that tries to get you in a position to have a fourth and short. Bring up a third and four here. They can pick up a first down by getting to the two-yard line. I think this is four downs for Hatcher and his offense anyway. So Ola Doken will try to rush in. He's got one rushing touchdown. Make it two. He'll skip into the end zone for a touchdown. Sanford. He came up a little hobbly there at the end of that run, but nice job by Ola Doken. I think you said it. That was four down territory, and you can tell by that play call. That was a play call that tries to get you in a position to have a fourth and short. Bring up a third and four here. They can pick up a first down by getting to the two-yard line. I think this is four downs for Hatcher and his offense anyway. So Ola Doken will try to rush in. He's got one rushing touchdown. Make it two. He'll skip into the end zone for a touchdown, Sanford. He came up a little hobbly there at the end of that run, but nice job by Ola Doken. I think you said it. That was four down territory, and you can tell by that play call. That was a play call that tries to get you in a position to have a fourth and short. Bring up a third and four here. They can pick up a first down by getting to the two-yard line. I think this is four downs for Hatcher and his offense anyway. So Ola Doken will try to rush in. He's got one rushing touchdown. Make it two. He'll skip into the end zone for a touchdown. Sanford. He came up a little hobbly there at the end of that run, but nice job by Ola Doken. I think you said it. That was four down territory, and you can tell by that play call. That was a play call that tries to get you in a position to have a fourth and short. Bring up a third and four here. They can pick up a first down by getting to the two-yard line. I think this is four downs for Hatcher and his offense anyway. So Ola Doken will try to rush in. He's got one rushing touchdown. Make it two. He'll skip into the end zone for a touchdown. Sanford. He came up a little hobbly there at the end of that run, but nice job by Ola Doken. I think you said it. That was four down territory, and you can tell by that play call. That was a play call that tries to get you in a position to have a fourth and short. Bring up a third and four here. They can pick up a first down by getting to the two-yard line. 
I think this is four downs for Hatcher in his offense anyway. So Oladokun will try to rush in. He's got one rushing touchdown. Make it two. He'll skip into the end zone for a touchdown. Sanford. He came up a little hobbly there at the end of that run. But nice job by Oladokun. I think you said it. That was four down territory, and you can tell by that play call. That was a play with him and coaching staff talking to him on the sidelines. Third down for Rainey and the Citadel. Here's the pitch, and Sanford gets there defensively. And Citadel this is going to be, be just short. shy. Sorry, Kurt. This is going to be just shy. And we saw Coach Thompson in the first half go for it alive. Ball control football for the Citadel, continuing to run the ball. And they keep this drive alive and see if they can capitalize. Uh, really, in essence, four more plays. Fake pitch. Good defense by Sanford. There's about five guys there. You better let go or else you're going to get a, another penalty. And the PA guys hit it correctly. Stacked up at the line of scrimmage. The dangerous receiver for the Citadel is 22, Raleigh Webb. Pressure. Pressure and taken down. Sacked to the play by number 43. It is Nash, Jalen Nix. It was a high ankle calf area injury, and if you looked really close, you could see heavily taped on that right ankle, but he's back in the ballgame. A little trickery, Robert Adams. Adams fakes like he's going to throw, and he winds up getting, in fact, a first down. A little reverse. Some trickery, and then at the end of it, it's Adams on a 13-yard game. When he had a couple of options here. You see Adams come back. And then what a showdown next week with Furman. Furman seems to be the class of the SOCOM this year. And Sanford, unless my math's wrong, I think they only have 10 players on the field. Well, your math is better than mine. Tell you what, they didn't need a whole lot of players right there. Nathan East was in on that tackle. Great per Wow. That's not going to make Brent Thompson happy. His 11 couldn't beat Sanford's 10, at least for one down. Nothing going there. And all of a sudden, this is a sputtering offense for the Citadel. And this is where the Sanford defense has been at their best. It's on that midline read, and they've done a good job. Welsh wants to go long. He's got a man. It is caught. For a long gainer, Welsh with a beautiful touch throw. And it is caught by Kendall Watson. And I would say Welsh is comfortable. That is a beautiful <laughs> long ball. And that's what this coach shoulder. It's third and about a half a yard. Stanton in the backfield with Welsh. One on one coverage, top of the screen. Handoff, Stanton, he's in. Touchdown, Sanford. For the Sanford touchdown. That is an impressive comeback drive by Liam Welsh. Lost his starting job to Ola Shoulder. It's third and about a half a yard. Stanton in the backfield with Welsh. One on one coverage, top of the screen. Handoff, Stanton, he's in. Touchdown, Sanford. For the Sanford Touchdown. That is an impressive comeback drive by Liam Welsh. Lost his starting job to Ola Shoulder. It's third and about a half a yard. Stanton in the backfield with Welsh. One on one coverage, top of the screen. Handoff, Stanton, he's in. Touchdown, Sanford. For the Sanford. Touchdown. That is an impressive comeback drive by Liam Welsh. Lost his starting job to Ola Shoulder. It's third and about a half a yard. Stanton in the backfield with Welsh. One on one coverage, top of the screen. Handoff, Stanton, he's in. Touchdown, Sanford. For the Sanford. Touchdown. That is an impressive comeback drive by Liam Welsh. Lost his starting job to Ola Shoulder. It's third and about a half a yard. Stanton in the backfield with Welsh. One on one coverage, top of the screen. Handoff, Stanton, he's in. Touchdown, Sanford. For the Sanford. Touchdown. 
That is an impressive comeback drive by Liam Welsh. Lost his starting job to Ola Jolder. It's third and about a half a yard. Stanton in the backfield with Welsh. One-on-one -on -one coverage, top of the screen. Handoff, Stanton, he's in. Touchdown, Sanford. Citadel coming up on third down conversions at 50%. You got to remember, they use four downs. They don't use three. Rainey will pitch. And a good tackle made in the open field. Nick Barton. And he gets Nwanze on a minus three. Excellent play by Nick Barton. Minutes left in the fourth. The Citadel looking to get some more points, and you know they don't want a field goal. And Wanze tied up quickly. Armand Lloyd on the tackle. He's on the far right. Pitch. That'll set up a fourth down play. Nice job by Ty Herring coming from his safety spot to get involved in that tackle. Looked like there was some opening three yards in this ball game, so almost half of what Sanford is averaging. And Grantham's in his first season. He replaced Blake Harrell, who moved on to Kennesaw State as the defensive coordinator. Grantham was previously the outside linebackers coach at Navy. He's had three stints there, also coached at Western Illinois, Louisville, and started his career as a graduate assistant for Nick Saban at LSU. Heard of also coached at Western Illinois, Louisville, and started his career as a graduate assistant for Nick Saban at LSU. Heard of him. On the ground, Stanton. Well, he's got some open field. He's got a first down. Stanton gets into the Citadel territory after a huge game. And I think Coach Hatcher had decided he has to go for it on fourth down. He flattened out his route. Welch seemed to think he was going to continue to go down the field. It was Brawley with the pressure. Fake to Stanton. Welsh. Nice open field tackle. That's Willie Eubanks. That will set up a fourth and short. Willie Eubanks preventing a first down. Can grind it out. How does Sanford choose to try to get four yards? The air, and there here comes some pressure. Now Welsh has a chance to run for the first down, and he will. He's got an open field. Slides down at about the 11. Keeps the drive alive. And I think if Sanford doesn't convert there, that's probably ball game with the point that we are right here. You see game. Amin along with Tony on the far side. Welsh finds his man Tony. He slips. He uh, goes forward towards the five. A gain of six, so it should be and will be a first down. Spinning forward to pick up the first down. Line for the Bulldog, for Sanford rather, doing a nice job. Giving Welsh a little bit more time. Here's a fade pass, and it's Michael Weiss. And he comes down with it for a touchdown. His first career touchdown. Spinning forward to pick up the first down. Line for the Bulldog, for Sanford rather, doing a nice job. Giving Welsh a little bit more time. Here's a fade pass, and it's Michael Weiss. And he comes down with it for a touchdown. His first career touchdown. And how about that crucial time in the ball game? You go to spinning forward to pick up the first down. Line for the Bulldog, for Sanford rather, doing a nice job. Giving Welsh a little bit more time. Here's a fade pass, and it's Michael Weiss. And he comes down with it for a touchdown. His first career touchdown. And how about that crucial time in the ball game? You go to spinning forward to pick up the first down. Line for the Bulldog, for Sanford rather, doing a nice job. Giving Welsh a little bit more time. Here's a fade pass, and it's Michael Weiss. And he comes down with it for a touchdown. 
his first career touchdown. To number 88, for the center. And how about that touchdown. crucial time in the ball game? You go to spinning forward to pick up the first down. Line for the Bulldog, for Sanford rather, doing a nice job. Giving Welsh a little bit more time. Here's a fade pass, and it's Michael Weiss, and he comes down with it for a touchdown. His first career touchdown. To number 88, Michael Weiss for the center. And how about that touchdown. crucial time in the ball game? You go to nice job. Giving Welsh a little bit more time. Here's a fade pass, and it's Michael Weiss, and he comes down with it for a touchdown. His first career touchdown. To number 88, Michael Weiss for the center. And how about that touchdown. crucial time in the ball game? You go to your and Wanze, the workhorse, gets the carry, and he didn't get a lot. Pushed back by Armand Lloyd. We punt. Option, pitch, Bulmer, and tied up. Pitch was number 21, Bulmer. Perfectly executed defensive play there by Sanford. They're able to get a timeout with two minutes and the clock will stop on an out of bounds or after a first down. And Sanford is a quick strike offense, so they are used to scoring quickly. Welsh caught. Tony. Tony's going to look to get out of bounds. He did after he get the, gets the first down. Knocked out at the 32. Nine yard gain. And we're un. And I think you're going to see Sanford work it sideline to sideline, and at some point they're going to take a shot down the field. Citadel playing two safeties, a zone look defensively. The Citadel will give up those six or seven yard passes. Tony now breaks through a would be tackle, gets into the open field. He's got a chance to score. He will get in the end zone. 67 yards to pay dirt. What a huge play by this. And I think you're going to see Sanford work it sideline to sideline, and at some point they're going to take a shot down the field. Citadel playing two safeties, a zone look defensively. The Citadel will give up those six or seven yard passes. Tony now breaks through a would be tackle, gets into the open field. He's got a chance to score. He will get in the end zone. 67 yards to pay dirt. What a huge play by this. And I think you're going to see Sanford work it sideline to sideline, and at some point they're going to take a shot down the field. Citadel playing two safeties, a zone look defensively. The Citadel will give up those six or seven yard passes. Tony now breaks through a would be tackle, gets into the open field. He's got a chance to score. He will get in the end zone. 67 yards to pay dirt. What a huge play by this. And I think you're going to see Sanford work it sideline to sideline, and at some point they're going to take a shot down the field. Citadel playing two safeties, a zone look defensively. The Citadel will give up those six or seven yard passes. Tony now breaks through a would be tackle, gets into the open field. He's got a chance to score. He will get in the end zone. 67 yards to pay dirt. What a huge play by this. And I think you're going to see Sanford work it sideline to sideline, and at some point they're going to take a shot down the field. Citadel playing two safeties, a zone look defensively. The Citadel will give up those six or seven yard passes. Tony now breaks through a would be tackle, gets into the open field. He's got a chance to score. He will get in the end zone. 67 yards to pay dirt. What a huge play by this. Take a shot down the field. Citadel playing two safeties, a zone look defensively. 
the Citadel will give up those six or seven yard passes. Tony now breaks through a would-be tackle, gets into the open field. He's got a chance to score. He will get in the end zone. 67 yards to pay dirt. What a huge play by this. No surprise, they're not going faster than this. Clearly, he knows his offense. Keep in mind, Webb is at the top of your screen at the wide receiver position. Pitch. Third down coming up. When the kicker there is, not only did he not gain many yards, but he didn't get out of bounds. Yeah. So the clock's continuing to run. Now we're going under yards. So they're clearly not in a rush here with 40 seconds left on the clock. Matchup is Webb on the far side. And he'll be taken down. He is sacked as Rainey Sanford comes up big as the clock ticks. So they wanted to go out in the flat. Tony makes a great catch, makes a man miss, and then goes off to the races. And Blake, this is a dip, different atmosphere now on the sidelines here at Cyber Stadium. Yeah, just an incredible difference. What a difference 20 minutes can make, guys. The Sanford sideline you can see in front of you has all the momentum in the world. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, Citadel feels like they've let this one slip away. Their defensive staff not happy, of course, with the way they've played the last couple of drives. So they're trying to settle their team down and hope to find... First play from scrimmage. Avoids, goes to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! On the first play of OT. And they go back to the freshman, back Michael Vice. Vice. Your fourth college tire game. Big statement for Liam Welsh, if he can get Sanford back in the end zone. First play from scrimmage. Avoids, goes to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! On the first play of OT. And they go back to the freshman, back Michael Vice. Your fourth college tire game. Big statement for Liam Welsh, if he can get Sanford back in the end zone. First play from scrimmage. Avoids, goes to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! On the first play of OT. And they go back to the freshman, back Michael Vice. Your fourth college tire game. Big statement for Liam Welsh, if he can get Sanford back in the end zone. First play from scrimmage. Avoids, goes to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! On the first play of OT. And they go back to the freshman, back Michael Vice. Vice. Your fourth college tire game. Big statement for Liam Welsh, if he can get Sanford back in the end zone. First play from scrimmage. Avoids, goes to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! On the first play of OT. And they go back to the freshman, back Michael Vice. Vice. Your fourth college first play from scrimmage. Avoids, goes to the end zone, caught! Touchdown! On the first play of OT. And they go back to the freshman, back Michael Vice. Vice. Your fourth college downs. His first two possessions, an interception as well as a fumble. Rainey surprisingly wants the air. Instead, he will get sacked and taken down. Jaleel Laguin. The Citadel oftentimes looking for more, as obviously they need the touchdown to keep this game going. The freshman in Wanze. The running back, and Wanze runs right into the teeth of the Sanford defense. So that's one of those four downs gone off the board. Gain of two. 
and it's a little thing, but Inwante continuing to fight. Webb near side. Rainey says, give it to me. Lloyd on the tackle. Granger was in the area as well. No gain on the play. In the backfield. Adams near side. Pressure was coming, and it's Schelling. Schelling gets into space. Nice run by Schelling. Just outside the 10, and the Citadel was just about ready to lower the boom. First down. Liam Welts let go of that football about a vice right now blocking. And you got Adams upper part of your screen. Welsh will get some good first down yardage inside the 10 to about the 6. We've talked a lot about the different element in this Sanford offense this year. Impressive runs uh, since he's entered the football game. Defense! Defense! They back off of Adams. And it's a handoff to Stanton who tries to get the edge, and he does. Touchdown, Jay Stanton. And Sanford now an extra point away from tying this game in the second overtime. What's pressure? Give him impressive runs. Uh, since he's entered the football game. They back off of Adams. And it's a handoff to Stanton who tries to get the edge, and he does. Touchdown, Jay Stanton. And Sanford now an extra point away from tying this game in the second overtime. What's pressure? Give him impressive runs uh, since he's entered the football game. They back off of Adams. And it's a handoff to Stanton who tries to get the edge, and he does. Touchdown, Jay Stanton. And Sanford now an extra point away from tying this game in the second overtime. What's pressure? Give him impressive runs uh, since he's entered the football game. They back off of Adams. And it's a handoff to Stanton who tries to get the edge, and he does. Touchdown, Jay Stanton. And Sanford now an extra point away from tying this game in the second overtime. What's pressure? Give him impressive runs uh, since he's entered the football game. They back off of Adams. And it's a handoff to Stanton who tries to get the edge, and he does. Touchdown, Jay Stanton. And Sanford now an extra point away from tying this game in the second overtime. What's pressure? Give they back off of Adams. And it's a handoff to Stanton who tries to get the edge, and he does. Touchdown, Jay Stanton. And Sanford now an extra point away from tying this game in the second overtime. What's pressure? Give him room. Instead, he drops it, and it's a 33-yard field goal attempt. Finneran puts it through. Well, that's a gutsy kick by Mitchell Finneran, a sophomore. Fort Valley, Georgia, his hometown. Sanford goes up. Maybe a yard. Let's mention this. A turnover here would also win the game for Sanford. The Citadel needs four for the first down. Bulmer in motion. Nwanze gets the carry. Look at that second effort by Nwanze. This will be tight. Justin Foster. And on the day, the Citadel here in this game. And Wanze, the sole running back, gets it, gets hit. Sanford's defense bowed up that time. John Staten, he leads Sanford in tackles. He leads the Southern Conference. And Wanze got a little bit of a rest, but he's back in. 
Webb is in the slot. Got two touchdowns, and this time to the air for Rainey. Being chased by Lloyd, gets it away. Good coverage, and that'll set up a third down. It's player on the defensive play. Fresh set of downs. Citadel goes to work. The pitch to Enwanze gets a good block, and then Sanford does come back and make the tackle. Rainey himself. Did I don't think there. he got it. Depending on the spot, he might not have. And what a huge stop for this Sanford defense. Rip the ball out. If you get a turnover, then that continues the game. Right, I was about to say, don't forget, a turnover doesn't mean they win unless they score on the turnover. Conservative rush. Stanton already is going to get good yards on this. Still on his feet. Gets inside. He's now near the five. What a run by the freshman Jay Stanton. Sanford with a conservative play call wants to ensure that. From two yards out. Welsh. Keeper. To the end zone, he scores! It's over! <laughs> From two yards out. Welsh, keeper, to the end zone, he scores! It's over! From two yards out. Welsh, keeper, to the end zone, he scores! It's over! <laughs> From two yards out. Welsh. Keeper to the end zone, he scores! It's over! <laughs> From two yards out. Welsh, keeper to the end zone, he scores! It's over! From two yards out. Welsh, keeper, to the end zone, he scores! It's over! <laughs> we talked about the mental approach for Liam Welsh. How about that? Scores the game-winning touchdown to give Samford a 61-55 win in four overtimes.